Hello everybody, welcome back to the training in Automoticon M221. In this model, we are going to focus on the remote display that we have along with the N221, which is this one, which is the TNH2GDB, which is a graphic display monochromatic, so we can connect to the PLC over Modbus serial, and it's a monochromatic, and it's very useful when we want to display some information to the display, and in this model we're going to focus on that so let's go to the presentation to see more detail this product so this is the display okay and da -da -da, it can only be used on the modicon m221 and it must be used on the serial line one okay as you can see you have two different type of plcs m221 and in both of them they must be used on the serial line port and we only have one display per PLC so in the case that you have for example the C for the compact and you add another serial line okay you cannot use the display connected to that cartridge you just need to use on the serial line one okay that's something important you need to know then here you can see most of the button and what you can do with the button, but most of them are for navigation and some of them are for executing a specific action inside. Okay, this one is for navigation between different panels, and this one is the navigation inside or modifications inside what we're going to show in the display. We also have for more information on this page that we are, and also we have the home button to go back to the initial part. When we buy this unit, okay, even if it's similar to the one that we have in some drives, it's not the same, okay, they have different stuff, so they have different reference. So when we buy this H the H minor uh, remote display, we have all this installed. So we have the instruction sheet, this one over here, the display, and we have these two in order to locate the display in our enclosure. There are some additional accessories over here, okay? But what I want to focus now is to the connection between the M221 and the remote display, okay? Basically, the communication between these two is via Modbus. So basically, we need a cable Modbus over here. So here you can see the details about the connection, okay? We only use four cables inside the this cable okay that you can see here we have for the modbus 4 5 the common and additional the 5 volts okay that come from the plc to a display because the only connection that this display has is in the rj45 okay so the plc energize this remote display okay and this is the reference for the cable so what I want you to let you know is that you can, if you don't want to go to an HMI, okay, um, you can use this remote display. We're gonna see the complete functionalities, but what you need to do is to connect via Modbus to the PLC over here. There is only one PLC and one of these uh, remote display. You cannot use several of this one, and uh, basically it's that. And in the next videos, we're going to see how we can program this unit with the EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one.